Welcome back to my channel. I'm Roxiano, and in this video, we are going to make a scene in Visual Novel Maker. So we'll be getting into the dragging and dropping for characters and backgrounds and other assets. In the last video, we created the project and learned a little bit about the scenes and the settings and what the tabs on the top do. In this one, we're actually going to start creating a scene. So you haven't really missed much yet. We haven't gotten into anything complicated yet. This is the part where it'll get a little bit more interesting. Let's get to it. So let's get into our sample project that we created next time. Um, yes, let's see. Now it should be starting it up. Okay, okay. And since this is our second video, this will be the second day in class. This is where we would usually start with a background to start the scene. Change background. Let's go into graphics. Backgrounds. I'm going to use one of the pre-existing ones. School. And there are many different types. We're going to choose this one. So in here you'll see a bunch of different effects, like how it eases into the scene. It can be linear, uh, or in many of these. They basically explain how the background will enter the scene. Actually, the, only the duration shows how fast it will be, which is right here. But these are just how it'll look. So if we do a thousand duration, and we choose to wait for it after we set it to our end intro scene. If we did it like 5,000 milliseconds duration, it would look like that. And that is the exponential ease. If it's a linear ease, it'll look just like this. And you can see how it'll look as you choose the different ones. Let's bring it back down now. Maybe say 1500, so it'll go a little faster. But I want this classroom to be zoomed in a little more. So let's select layer one because that is the layer that we chose for our background. And then let's do maybe like a, this. 125% for each. We can also choose where our anchor will be so that when it zooms, it'll zoom in the middle instead of on the left. So when we play our project, it'll do the fade in and then the zoom. So those are some things you can do with the backgrounds. Now let's add some characters. And under the character tab, you can see the join scene and we are going to choose a character. Now, for the sake of this project, I have prepared some characters already that I have created before uh, for somebody else, actually. So if you're watching, you will definitely recognize these characters. First, to add the characters, we have to go to our resource manager, graphics, characters. There's the pre-existing with all the assets that came with the VN Maker. Um, but in this case, we'll import some new characters. James was our main character. We'll start with him. And since there are different versions of James, we'll create a group called James. Grab that, put it right in there, and import some more 
from James. He's got two other expressions. So now all of his expressions are in his folder. Since he's not in here with any of the registered character records, we have to add him in our records. We'll create a new folder. No, not folder. A new record, and we will call it James. Now, James doesn't have any expressions yet, so we'll create a new folder in here under character expressions called James. And since all of these are records within the folders, we'll create a new record within the folder called sitting because he'll be sitting and we'll add his sitting graphic. You can also add more graphics in case you wanted them to have like an animation for their expression instead of a static image, which is also really cool. For now, we'll also add more of his records. Happy is what we'll call this. We'll add his happy expression. And we'll also do that for his board expression. So now we have all these different expressions for James. And you have to follow all of those steps if you want to add a new character. If you wanted to add your own background, you don't have to do all that complicated stuff as if you were adding a character because a background is just that what it is, a background. So all you would have to do is drop the backgrounds into the background folder and it's in there just the resource manager you don't have to go into this or anything because it would just be part of the graphics not any of these character tabs in here so it would be a lot simpler if you wanted to do that same with these pictures in the picture tab right here you can put them on top of your backgrounds and over top of your characters even if you wanted to so we will select james We will change his expression. We're gonna do sitting, so he'll be sitting in the classroom. For his position, we're going to do direct because we want to put him in a certain spot. We can right click and select flip horizontally and that'll change it so he's facing the same way as all the other desks. But it's going to look kind of weird since his desk is a little different than the rest of the other desks. But that's okay. It's part of the charm of this sample project. So normally, under this window, there would be a cancel and an OK button. But the way my screen resolution is, it doesn't show that, unfortunately. So what I would have to do is go into my settings and change the screen resolution. But it just so happens that I won't be able to show that with, for you guys because even if I do change the resolution in my settings, the resolution for the video won't change with it. So just trust me that there's a cancel and OK button right below this window, OK? <laughs> and just so you know, if you're having this problem as well, you can go into your settings and fix the display resolution to something square. I feel like since everything else fades in, we don't really need to have them fade in, so we'll just keep them at duration one millisecond. If we keep it at zero milliseconds, it will be kind of as if we put 600 milliseconds there. So one millisecond would be the lowest you can put it at. So let's add some dialogue in there to get started. And to do that, we can go to show message. But before that, since if we just go to show message without doing anything else first, whatever we type in 
will appear without any message box behind it. So first we would have to go to call common event, go to message box, show message box, and the message box will pop up. Now the text will look like this with the character's name there and we can select James for that. And we can change his expression if we wanted to, but in this case we'll keep him sitting since he's in the classroom. Another neat trick I like to do if no characters are talking is have another record in the characters called just space. And the reason I do this is so that there, it can be like a narrator without actually saying narrator because it's weird if you just say narrator there. So that this way no character is talking and you can just say the morning begins or something like that. And it wouldn't be anyone talking, it would just be regular. In my other game, the narrator is the main character, so this could be the main character's thoughts as well, even if it doesn't say their name there. That way the player won't think that the character is talking if they're not, if they're just thinking something. Whenever you do show message again, the player has to click on it for the next message to show or press spacebar. That also works. No, 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 no. I am lost in my thoughts. Will this lesson teach me what I need to know? Yes, it will. And if you want to delete it, you just right click and press delete. Or you can press the delete button on your keyboard for it to go away. Control Z brings it back if you make a mistake. That's all basic software stuff. So if you're familiar with softwares in general, it's kind of the same hotkeys. And I obviously didn't spend much time thinking about the beginning of this story. So let's just get on with the learning, shall we? And before I change backgrounds, I usually like to remove the message box so that I'm going to do hide message box. I usually like to remove it so that we can have a nice full transition without the message box still being shown. So after you do that, change background. I'm going to go back to our pre-existing background, school, and I'm going to select one that is the opposite view of just the chalkboard. It's going to be layer one since the other background was on layer one. And if it was layer zero, it would be underneath that. So that's how you would affect the layers. We don't want him to be there, so we'll remove him first. We're gonna do an exit scene, select James. And so it'll transition over here so we can add our teacher character. And I'm gonna fast forward through the adding the teacher character since we've already seen how to add characters. So we are going to choose our teacher character and I call her Miss Serious because her only expression is serious. And since it's her only expression, we can set that as her default expression. Under characters, default expression, which I have already added. And she'll just enter just like this. Let's Let's place her now in front of the chalkboard. So there she is, and we'll add a message for her. I'll just copy this one. 
I don't feel like finding it again. I'll go to show message, select Miss Sarius. Class, I know this may be daunting, but focus on one thing at a time. All in quotes so we know she's talking, and nobody wants to actually hear her boring old lesson, so we'll just be like, class dismissed. box is gone. Now we can fade out the scene and I usually like to do this with tint. So we go to background, tint background, we select layer one because that is our background layer. Um, we can tint it into red and we'll set the duration to 2000 so it'll just be all creepy I'll have her I'll remove her first so that you know what I'll just tint her along with it so we'll select Cesarius and we'll do the same ish just as like an estimate Okay, we can do continue and then wait. Having continue there will make it tint at the same time as the background if they're set to the same duration. I am lost in my thoughts. Was lesson teach me what I need to know? Class, I know this may be daunting, but focus on one thing at a time. Class dismissed. So that will be all for our simple scene. Let's look at how many commands we put down. And usually a finished scene will look like this. Going into this, you may be like, oh, that's a lot of stuff to know, but you were with me this whole time. It was pretty simple. If you ever get stuck, you can always go back to this sample scene up there and look at everything that happened in the sample scene just to make sure you're doing things right. So I hope you liked this video, and I hope you learned a lot in this episode of Creations 101 with Roxiano Creations. Stay tuned for more difficult stuff. Next video, we'll get into choices and variables. Those would be essential mechanics in order to have a project that is definitely more engaging for the player. Looking forward to seeing you in episode 3.